All right, in this video, we will list the transformations that are happening when you compare this function with its parent function. Okay, each function to its parent function. So look at the transformations. Um, let's write them down. All right, this negative sign in the front represents a reflection over the x axis. All right, now the three. Without the negative sign, ignore the negative sign for a second. We've already covered that. The three represents a vertical stretch by a factor of three. Okay, if it's bigger than one, all right, and again, ignore the negative sign. Um, if it's bigger than one, it's going to be a vertical stretch. If it's less than one, like if this had been one third, that would be a vertical compression. Okay. Um, now ignore the two fifths because that's just part of the parent function. Um, now, what does the minus five do? Um, this minus five will be a translation to the right five. It's kind of the opposite of the way it looks. So I'm just going to put right five. Okay, so those are those transformations. Okay, uh, now let's see, what's the deal here? So the four over three in the front. If this is bigger than one, it will be a vertical stretch. If it's less than one, it will be a vertical compression. So what do you think? All right, this is a vertical stretch by a factor of four over three. Four over three is bigger than one. See how the larger number's in the top? That's an improper fraction. All right, ignore the four. That's just part of the parent function. Uh, but the minus nine has the effect of shifting the graph down nine. All right, that's all that's going on there. So let's move on to the last one. Okay, let me do another text box. So let's see, what do we have? First of all, we have this negative sign in the front. Just like over here, that's going to represent a reflection over the x-axis. All right, this one half. Um, again, ignore the negative sign when we start talking about this uh, next part. The one half, because that is less than one, this is going to be a vertical compression. by a factor of one half. Okay, don't say negative a half or anything like that. It's just by a factor of one half. Okay, um, what's next? Ignore the five over two because that's part of the parent function. Um, now the minus seven, that's going to be a shift right seven. So I'm just going to put right seven. And then the plus one third. All right, this is up down motion, so I'm just going to say up one third. All right, so that's it for the transformations.